Hello, hello, Lisa Connor here from Elisa Connor Consulting, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, content marketing and content marketing strategy. And I had a question come up from one of my clients and also um, in a couple of groups that I've been in is like, what is content marketing? And, and how do you have a strategy around it? And so I wanted to dive in, but first I wanted to start with this statistic. I just read a report yesterday um, that a friend had sent me about the future of copywriting and content creation. And according to HubSpot in 2019, their, their stats from 2019, content marketing gets three times the leads of paid advertising. That's huge. So you, um, what's really great news about that is that if you're a newer entrepreneur or you're somebody that's looking to uh, start your entrepreneurship is you have the opportunity to create content for basically free. Of course, there's traffic promotions that you can do around content creation, um, but content marketing is big and it's only getting bigger. And the other interesting fact that was in this report is that about half of customers will consume at least three pieces of content before they ever talk to somebody in the sales department. And so if you're an entrepreneur, that sales department is you, which means you have to do your due diligence to be delivering great content to your people to lead them down your sales funnel. Now, the biggest mistake that I see in this area for people is that they are creating content um, and they're either doing it randomly or they just do it when they feel like it, or they don't have any rhyme or reason toward to their content creation. So let me back up a little bit. What is content creation? That is the content that you're creating regularly in your business to serve your audience. Typically, uh, this content answers questions that they have around problems. Um, and so for example, you could be creating a piece of content if you um, were a course creator. Let's say there I one of the most interesting um, course creation uh, examples that I came up with was somebody that does online dog training and they have like an online dog training course. And I just thought that was really interesting. And so if you were that person, you could create content around that, um, that was very specific to a problem. And so one example that I gave recently in a podcast was if you have a new puppy and that puppy is chewing up all of your furniture, you need help and you need it now. And so as a dog training course creator, what you could do is create the five best tips to keep your dog Fido from chewing up your furniture. Is that giving away the farm of your course for free? Absolutely not. It is giving some value to your customers. It is engaging them to want to learn more about you and what you do. And most importantly, you're providing them a solution to a big problem that they have right now. So they're going to remember you. So when we look at content marketing, what are our options? Well, luckily content marketing uh, and, and the internet have given us many, many options to create content. You could create a blog post, you could create a video um, and put it out there. You could create social media posts, you can create a podcast, um, you can create infographics. Those are a huge one. So if you have um, statistics or graphics that you can display, um, in a, in a picture mode, that's a great way to do it. You can do uh, case studies. You can do uh, customer testimonial feature stories. You can partner with other people and create um, a video show. I've seen that go on a lot. Um, so there are many, many ways you can do this. And in an ideal world, you would be doing all of these things because you need to stay consistent. That's why I started with the number one failure of people that uh, get in that, you know, are creating content, but are not getting traction from that content. You have to be consistent and consistency means that you're going to draw a line in the sand and say, I'm going to create content every single week and be true to your word because when you start to create content, and I see this happen all the time, and if you go and you kind of research some podcasts that are out there right now, you're gonna see there's a lot of people jumping on the podcast bandwagon because it's the new thing. But what you'll find is they create four or five or six episodes and then you never hear from them again. And then they'll come back six months later and go, hey, I'm back. Well your people are not going to wait around six months for you to release another piece of content. They're going to go find somebody who's solving their problem, which leads me to point number two. When you're creating that content, I want you to start with the end in mind, because if you are just creating content and you're creating content and you become this machine of content, there's lots of content out there. But if your content isn't leading your customers down a path to eventually and ultimately purchase from you, 
you're wasting your time. And that is the last thing we need to do as business owners or as potential business owners. And so what I recommend to my clients is you start with the end in mind and then you back it up. Like what are the things that you can come up with to help your audience um, so that ultimately they are interested in your product or service and they cannot solve their problem without it. And so um, when you're creating that content, just keep that in mind. That's going to save you a lot of headache, a lot of frustration, and it's going to help you get traction quicker. So that is the simplification of content marketing. It's really easy. It's the content you create within your business on a regular basis that you deliver to your audience to create connection, to create trust, to build the relationship so that you can lead them down the path to ultimately converting into being a customer. So if that is helpful for you and you are struggling with your content, I also have um, an option for you. I have currently set up a wait list for a marketing boot camp. It is going to be happening the week between Christmas and New Year's, that Wednesday, it will be on the landing page. If you're interested in getting a head start on 2021 with your marketing, one of the things we're going to talk about is how to set up your content marketing for the year. And you may be like, oh my gosh, that seems oh so overwhelming. But this um, marketing boot camp that I've put together is what I have found is when I plan the year ahead of time, um, regardless of what happens, like a pandemic, for example, you're prepared and you, you're you more easily able to pivot or shift or take action on your dreams. So if you're interested in that, you can find that uh, sign up page using the link below this video. And I would love to have you be a part of that so that you're ready for 2021. You've got your content plan all ready to go and you can dive in and get started and make your dreams a reality. I would love to have you comment below what your content strategy is for uh, 2021. I want you to draw a line in the sand and said, say to yourself and say to everybody else out there as accountability, I am going to create a blog post every week in 2021, or I'm going to create a blog post or a video, or I, I'm going to have several that I'm going to do. But I would love for you to comment below and tell me what your content plan is for 2021. Because when you declare it and you declare it publicly, you're setting success in motion. So I encourage you to comment below. I know for me, I'm going to be doing a lot more video as well as continuing to post on my website and under my resources page. And so um, I would love to know what you guys are doing so I can be supportive to you and also uh, be a, an accountability partner. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.